after the completion of uh, skeletal system axillary appendicular skeletal system now we are going to discuss about joints of the body the joints basically freely means goes to furcular means it is a freely movement of the body is a give the possibility with help of joints only without joints the human body is going to rigid but with the joints the human body must be show the freely movement will be there in the free movement and some of uh, some joints are acceptable for the moderate movement some joints we should not acceptable to any type of the movement based on that character the joints or classification is goes to three fibrous joints and the cartilaginous joints and synovial joints first one is goes to fibrous joints fibrous joints is goes to highly thick overlap to one joint to another joint we should not show the any type of movement it is goes to we called as syn arthrosis syn arthros means we should not formation of a uh, small movement also we should not acceptable as a small joint this type of joint is goes to fibrous joint where it is presence of this type of fibrous joint is goes to first one is goes to coronal suter coronal suter means frontal bone and associate to the uh, parietal bones in the center there is a have a one suter is attachment of two bones these uh, suter we call as coronal suter in the two bones this type of joint we should not uh, uh, give the active we should not show any articulation we should not show any type of movement those type of we called as coronal suter next is goes to synarthros synarthros means it is synarthros means goes to tibia and fibula and uh, gonarthros means gomophysis is goes to dento alveolar joint tibia and fibula tibia and fibula we consisting of a leg area the tibia and fibula which show the just a little bit of movement just a moment will be in the acceptable by the tibia and fibula next to uh, gomo 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 arthros we called as dento alveolar joint dento means teeth and uh, which is attached to the dentary the two teeth and uh, the alveolar bone the dentary bone is attached to the one joint we call we call as dento alveolar joint these we consider as a fibrous joint and next is goes to cartilaginous joint cartilaginous goes to synarthros and symphysis there are goes synarthros means it is goes to the simple simple movement when the simple movements means moderate movements to be acceptable here it is goes to synarthros the first example is goes to epi epiphyseal plate epiphyseal plate means for example this is a bone it is goes to shaft diaphysis this uh, edges we call as epiphyseal plate epiphyseal plate we addition to the one more bone in this joint we call as epiphyseal it is synarthros type of the joint we call as made up of cartilage we call as cartilage joint we call as next we consist here is goes to symphysis basically it is goes to cartilage it is goes to highly thickness uh, cartilage bones with formation of a pubic symphysis already we discuss about uh, pelvic girdle it is a two half of the pelvic girdle is attached to the cartilage and the highly cartilage that is called as fibrous cartilage very important one fibrous cartilage is attached to the two half of the pubic uh, uh, bones that uh, type of symphysis we call as pubic symphysis pubic symphysis will be the remaining is goes to synovial joint synovial is goes to be called as diatrus diatrus means freely movable joint we called as synovial joints there are many uh, joints which are going to freely movable all the those joint we consideration has a synovial joints those are ball and socket joint already we know ball and socket means the pectoral girdle we articulated by the humerus it attached to the pectoral girdle this uh, joint we consideration as a ball and socket and the pelvic girdle there is a acetabulum to attach it to the ball of the femur it is attached to the that uh, pelvic girdle area in that uh, their area we consideration as a ball and socket joint okay next is goes to hinge joint hinge joint means the four hands the consisting only this type of movement we acceptable to the hinge joint will be there we called as hinge joint knee area and uh, forehead here forehand area we possess to the this type of hinge joint third one is goes to fivet joint fivet joint it is articulated by the this type of head up skull is associated to the vertebral column in the both area it means axis axis 
and uh, atlas and axils is attached to the here that is occipital condyle occipital condyle to the axis atlas there is a have a one more joint will be there that is goes to uh, the axis atlas and axis there is a have one more joint is goes to dentoil process the axle will be rotating like this this type of joint we call as five watt joint will be there and next one is goes to gliding joint glide one bone is glide to another bone a type of joint we consider this goes to gliding joint it is goes to intercarpal and tarsals intercarpal and tarsals there is a, in between the joint we call as gliding joint will be there and it goes to condyled carpals joint is there. condyled condyle joint will be there carpal and metacarpals there is a have a joint we call as condyloid joint will be there and last synovial joint which goes to saddle joint saddle joint is basically that is a thumb there is a have a thumb there is a have a carpal and metacarpal there is a have a special type of uh, this type of movement will be expect uh, this type of movement is acceptable by the we using of a thumb finger this type of joint is uh, there is goes to saddle type of joint will be there these we consider as a synovial joint synovial joint is a very specialized joint when we are going to diagrammatic representation of synovial joint like this with a synovial joint there is a have a this type of uh, shaft of the bone this is uh, one in uh, epiphyseal plate of uh, bone there is a have a it is called as outer membrane where there is a have a we called as inner membranes also will be the inner membranes here there is a have a the consisting of hyaline cartilage this is a have a some synovial cavity this cavity we called as synovial synovial cavity the synovial cavity is filled with the synovial fluid synovial fluid and here bones to here is attached to the some of ligaments also is attached to the here these are synovial fluids act as a lubricant act as a grease like a act as a lubricant it is uh, gives to the free movement of the body that's why you call as synovial joints will be there these synovial all the joints we call as synovial joints will be there this type of arrangement one bone is another bone the shaft of uh, bone the shaft of the bone in between that the joint will be there there is a have a one of a uh, cavity will be there the cavity is filled with the synovial fluid we call as uh, uh, synovial joint will be there this type of joint is acceptable to give the free movement of the a joint these are the synovial joints are goes to diatrus diatrus means goes to freeway movable okay ball and socket hinge fivet gliding condyloid and the saddle all the joints are considered under the synovial joints in other classification which joint is useful for the we should not acceptable the movement those type of joint we called as synarthrus synarthrus joint we should not show any type of the movements second one is goes to amphiarthrus amphiarthrus means slight movable slight movable the joint we call as amphiarthrus like a uh, uh, this is goes to epiphyseal and uh, diaphyseal this type of pubic symphysis there is a slight movable and here also tibia fibula uh, this type of joint we call as slight movable is goes to amphiarthrus joint will be there last one is goes to diatrus diatrus type of uh, joint we call as freely movable of uh, complete uh, body or uh, complete the uh, joint this we called as diatrus these we consideration as a joints of the body